We don't want you to have to make a homemade pie on Mother's Day. So allow me to take care of that. Me and Marie, we've got you covered. Hello and good morning everyone. Happy Saturday. We are starting the morning earlier than I had anticipated. Set my alarm clock for eight and I woke up at about seven. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna start the day. There's lots to do. It is the day before Mother's Day and we are having everyone come over to our house tomorrow. Maddie is speaking in our church tomorrow. We are so excited about that. Everyone's gonna come listen to her speak and then I decided to do just a small, super easy, low impact brunch here at the house. I have a lot of things to do. Number one, house needs to be picked up. I'm not even thinking about that right now. I can be done later. Going to the store, getting the things that I need, picking up, a gift, tie up those loose ends. I found really, really cute candles the other day and I thought this might be great to give the women in my life. I wanna just provide a light little breakfast for them tomorrow. It'll be super easy, so low key. And by the time you're seeing this video, Mother's Day is over, so I hope that you had a great Mother's Day. I'm just hanging out with my cribby doo right here. He had a pair of shoes on the sneakers app that he really wanted to try and get. Which ones were they? I think they were the Thunders. Were the Thunders, that's they are right. The thunders. Both Brandon and I, Brandon's still sleeping, but I grabbed his phone. Both of us and Stephanie and Adam were trying to get the Thunders for crew on the sneakers app. And Unfortunately, we were all unsuccessful. Yeah, we tried know. size eight and a half and size nine. That's just how the drops go, and that's why it's so exciting whenever you do get one because it's so rare. Kirby and I have just been hanging out this morning while I tied all of these candles, bows, and everything. I'm gonna take crew to Saturday school. He wants to tighten up some things on those grades. And Ryler's heading off to a birthday party. I'm gonna go get some stuff at Sam's Club and pick up a gift. Another big news, another big thing that is happening right before my eyes. They are ripping out the trees in our backyard. Can't even believe it. These trees are so heavy. I feel so, so bad for these guys that are doing it. So wonderful. Last week, we sent pictures to the landscaper. Ideas that we had. Went around the yard and said, how about this? How about this? How about this? They gave us their suggestions. They said, you can't put this here because you have it right there. They're very meticulous in the way that they do everything. They've pulled them all out. I don't know if they're prepping to bring them in or if they're going to do that a different day. They have done a really good job. And one of my favorite things is they clean up so well. He's out there sleeping. They're awesome. I really like these guys. Trees are gone. After they all leave, I'll have someone walk you out there and show you how good it looks. Just opens it up again. Have fun. Happy birthday, Carson. Love you, bud. Make good choices. I'm home, I went and did all the errands and I came back with probably way more than I meant to bring home. <laughs> and one of those things that I came home with that I didn't go for was some lovely pots. We don't have enough trees, flowers, plants, and other things throughout our yard as the landscaping is now complete. Can I throw that in there? Yes. We're taking out the trees So the back, I videoed and showed them them pulling the trees out, but I have not showed them it's, done. it's all done. I think everything's and done. And it's like, we have so much prettiness, but there's no real color yet. That's coming. I know oh, it's, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. I wanted some bright, pretty colors right here as you like walk up to the front door. I'll I'll show you guys. We have these two pots. There's another one over there and they just are on both sides of our front door. But the problem is nobody ever told me to water these. <laughs> Truth be told, I thought these were fake when we moved in. I thought I was like, oh, that's cool. They can just too. sit there. They're real and they need to be watered. So yes. they died. <laughs> so they need to go. Well, they they're clean. dead. Oh my gosh. Literally just... Never took root. <laughs> so I'm going to put those pots that are so pretty in there. Oh, that's fun. Okay, that and then guys, I've idea. had a pretty fun idea while mom's working on that. I think it'd be fun to get double usage out of this balloon arch. Tomorrow, we've got a fun brunch here at the house after Maddie gives her talk in our church here in Utah. Call them homecoming. Talks. That's what it's referred to as. So her homecoming talk, homecoming address here at this home in Utah. We did the party last week. If you guys haven't seen that one, it was kind of a whirlwind of emotions up and down as we fought against elements like the weather, the rain, the wind. Ended up pulling it off. But one of the prize features out there in the backyard was these big giant letters that lit up her name and then this incredible spectacular balloon arch. Well, instead of getting rid of it after just one use, we held on to it. It's been living in Maddie's room. I thought we can make some use of that at her follow-up party. We're having a similar brunch. This one's going to be indoors, a little more chill and more low-key than the last one. But we're going to try and continue to utilize some of those decorations, get more bang for our buck. So this is gonna go, I believe, out here across this door. Double door here, but we usually only open the one side, that side. So Hazy gonna... and I tested it out and it's the perfect height. To start at the bottom here, go up the door, across that opening, and then it stops right over there. So it's kind of perfectly frames the entry as you come in. Like... Secure it. Yeah. preparations underway right now for a combination of celebrations tomorrow. We have Maddie giving her homecoming address here in this neighborhood. She has been preparing a brand new talk. We thought she was gonna give the same one that we heard in San Diego, but no. She's been given a new assignment and new topic. And she has recrafted it from scratch. Been working on it, going over it. Are you ready for tomorrow, Maddie? I think so. 
so. As ready as you can. Honestly, she does not seem to be sweating it. She is a pro at this, and if it's anything like the words we've heard come out of our mouth since coming home, they will be poetic, inspirational, filled with love. They're gonna be pretty great. That's what they say about me. Better my words. Way better than I could do. In conjunction with that, we are also going to be celebrating, commemorating Mother's Day with my mom, Maddie's mom. All the moms. Uh, my mom. <laughs> This mom! Oh, that mom. mom! We are gonna be doing a little bit of Mother's Day. Maddie has been so gracious as to combine the brunch we're having. Oh, yes, with it was such a sacrifice. Her homecoming brunch. It's all the same people who came to the party, anyway, so it's like we've already had the yeah. big party for you. But look how delicious this is. Guys, they I'm got pretty muffins, excited for this brunch. Chris, croissants. Croissants? Okay. Oh. Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Whatever this weird thing Danishes. Is. A full dishes. breakfast tray. This is the best sample. I got it at Sam's and I was so relieved because these things are fun, but you don't want to buy like 24 of I each love one. Those. Muffin toppers. Yeah, I mean, so I got my good. own right looks here. So good. Those ones? They no. look equally. I got one of these. These are fritters, chocolate chip muffins. That's like a cranberry muffin, strawberry pound cake, lemon pound cake. Real quick, since we will probably be caught up in festivities tomorrow, I may not have a chance to really break down each specific entree. Hold on. Please, I just need more caffeine oh my for all gosh. of my life. Just because of what? Because how long? My sentence is taking to say, or how many years you've been married. These adorable little cups right here are going to be mixed with a fun vanilla, honey vanilla, Greek yogurt. And I can make little mini yogurt Found parfaits. this at Sam's Club today. Cute little toppers. That's not the topper, is it? No, the toppers are cute, but they don't really make sense. The adorable little gold spoons. Oh my so, gosh. So, so I'm going to get out granola, berries, all the things. Fun brunch activities, brunch festivities, brunch tastic. Brunch activities. Yeah. So that's going down tomorrow. Lots more to get ready for tomorrow. Maddie's got to prepare her talk. We've got to go ahead and continue decorating and cleaning around here. We do have very, very early church, and as soon as that's over, over. The festivities are coming this way. We're gonna have some food and some fun on awesome. Mother's Day. I'm excited. So should we do in the lows can go which one? You you decide there. Mother's Day. Day. We got a mom in the house. We got Maddie who crushed it today at her talk in church. Maddie, no joke. Not even making this up or exaggerating. I think it was better in your first one. I think maybe I, you, that's what I just your first said. one was incredible. Very powerful. Very absolute wow factor. It's almost like that was you getting kinks out and then you just crushed it today. Do you know what the my kinks. favorite thing is that she does? She speaks in Spanish. Afterwards, had a fun little brunch here. Very beautifully set up. Nice little spread. We've since reorganized and rearranged the I island here. Got some fun stuff you. for mom. We've got a little Mother's Day collection of gifts here. Dad got me new flowers. There has been no shortage of flowers in this house recently. I know. I actually said that to the kids. I was like, you know, the house has been filled with flowers for days I on end. I love it. I don't know if mom even wants any more, but I feel like she needs a fresh set for Mother's Day. And some fun little gifts here that the kids have actually made. Brexton made this bath salts thing right here. Hazy helped make this hand scrub right here. The collective gift, which you'll find out about later, is a team effort. So that's going to be a lot of fun as you well. Know what it is? Maddie's in on it. We have a Mother's Day dinner going down, and this is all mom's choices here. She wanted mashed potatoes. Yes. Some mashed potatoes boiling in here. We are doing salad. Yes. We are doing rolls, delicious rolls. Mom wanted an oh, I need to heat them. apple pie and ice cream to so the apple pie already in the oven because it takes a little minute to get ready and get going. So we got a homemade a pie. Brandon homemade the pie. Well, today. I mean, yeah, we don't want you to have to make a homemade pie on Mother's Day. So yeah. allow me to take care of that. Me and Marie, we've got you covered. Your favorite. And then we are grilling out here outside. I've got thick, juicy filet steaks going on on the grill. We have got Rye Guy building up a new ice chest out here. Fresh steaks that we just got from mom. Ready to throw on the grill. These should be fantastic. We are about to throw these on. Hopefully my only job is to not ruin them. Mother's Day, dinner pressure, no big deal at all. We got steaks, potatoes, rolls, salad. I think all the things that we need. Mom wanted the apple pie desserts. So we got that. Typically, if you guys have been here for a while, I know it's kind of like a worldwide tradition to do the Mother's Day breakfast in bed, but our church starts at 8.30 in the morning and we get there at 8 a.m. to set up the chairs for it. So there was absolutely no breakfast in bed. In fact, this morning, mom spent her morning setting up the island setting up all of the little goodies out there for the brunch that followed immediately after Maddie's talk and then we had everybody over here for a fun snack and just hang out and talk and celebrate Maddie and her success and also to do a little bit of Mother's Day celebration. We had a lot of moms and a lot of amazing women in attendance and so we took a moment to honor them as well. Mom in true mom fashion spent the morning getting ready for that. So it went off without a hitch. It was fantastic. I think everybody loved it. It was entertained and had a great time. But now it is our time to pamper mom a little bit, give her a little bit of what she wants and deserves on this Mother's Day. A little R&R &R and some delicious food. Steaks coming in hot off the grill, Mom. I think we may have actually pulled off a decent Those steak look here. Amazing. It's a Mother's Day miracle. Big boys. Mother's Day miracle. It turned out good. So, I'm, so I'm pretty excited to see.
Bro, it's moving so fast it looks like it's sped up. That is nuts. Look at that. Look at it right across the top of the mountain. There we go. Give me some lightning and thunder, baby. Let's go. It looks so much brighter in this. I know. Like, you can't see how heavy dark those clouds are because the camera tries to adjust for that. Dude, look at, like... There you go, there you go. If you get some actual light and it really shows you how dark the clouds are. Look how dark those are. And they're moving so fast, it looks like it's a time lapse. That's just how fast they're going right across the top of the mountains. Dinner was a huge success. I'm not saying this for myself. Everyone else just said it, but no one said it on camera, so I might be just making this up. But they said the steaks were perfection, absolutely grilled, just like you would want them. As we were eating dinner and finishing up, we're about to break into the apple pie. A storm has rolled in in a major way. Lightning going off out here. We can hear thunder. Oh, and here it comes. It's coming down. It's coming down hard. Big, thick drops. Now, this is supposed to be probably the last big, rainy, wet, cold thing of the season because we do go into 70s and sunny for the next week, so we're blowing in one last storm here. The clouds are coming over the mountains so fast. And so furious you'd think Vin Diesel was flying through them, but it looks like it's a time-lapse It looks like it's actually sped up, but in real time they are moving so fast across the top of the mountains We've got lightning going off thunder coming and the rain has just started now big thick drops coming in to finish off this Mother's Day weekend But we got hot apple pie with some vanilla ice cream caramel topping and a lot of the yummy yummy crumble on top Came out here for a quick <laughs> selfie as we say goodbye to Maddie. She is actually going home now. We're not gonna see her for three more weeks, but here's a hint, guys. <laughs> it won't be here in Utah. It won't be here at this house but it is going to be in a very, very fun and happy yes. place. So we cannot wait for that. That is coming up very soon. A few weeks away, we're gonna be out hanging out with Maddie again. Happy nice. Mother's Day, Mom. Today was it's been the a good best day. Mother's Day. This is the very first Mother's Day I've ever had Maddie. You got to hang out with her Her so bonus much. daughter. I know. You got to hang out with your bonus mom. That was kind of great. And she then also the worst Mother's Day because she's leaving. <laughs> Well, you've got this balloon arch to keep the company, guys. We love you. Thanks for hanging. Come back. It's going to be an incredible week. It is great weather all week. The last week of oh, so school excited. for the kids as they wind things up, wrap things up, finish off their grades, lock things in, and it is yeah. time to party and get ready for summer. You guys, we love you. Ow, ow. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Put it on the island. Dish. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just be grateful that's not your real mother. <laughs> oh my god! That's so funny, Jack. <laughs> okay, so...